may remember I teased you guys with the key. I know this place looks rough, uh, but trust me, this is the beginning of something much bigger. And this is how it starts, guys. You know, obviously things are gonna develop in a different way once you actually get into it. It's a little bit of a bummer because I like that type of stuff, but at the same time, my cleanup. That is the last colubrid snake eggs of the year. It's on to 2020. Kind of a bummer, guys. I have a feeling that Lilith is way up there in the corner. Ooh, what is that? What is it? I said Dr. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You may remember I teased you guys with the key and you know the Reptarium over the last year has been an absolutely amazing experience but uh, we are about to take it to phase two and in order to kind of fill you in what I mean and what significance this key is, uh, we have to head next door. Guys, here it is. I know this place looks rough, uh, but trust me, this is the beginning of something much bigger. I am so excited about this. It's gonna be a ton of work, but I am excited to the kind of expansion and the future of the Reptarium. Let me go ahead and just kind of walk you through what is gonna happen over the next few months. And much like when I actually walked into the Reptarium for the first time and it was a blank slate and I kind of was telling you guys what the future was going to be, I'm sure a lot of you guys watched that and said like, Brian, you're crazy. And, uh, and although it did change and it'll always evolve a little bit, I'm just so happy the way that building turned out. This will be the first time I've really had a decent look at the place. Let's see if we can get in. I think, it, I think it's got to be that door. Oh no. No, that's, no, it's locked now. It, no, it's still locked a little bit. You can see it. See the little thing right there. See I how? Feel it. Maybe it's unlocking. The way it locks, Lord. Trust me, I can see it locking. It's still like there, though. It's it's like here. Hold this. That, that was a little bit. <laughs> that was a little difficult. <laughs> All right, so it's still not a hundred percent cleaned out in here. But you guys get the idea of the space that we have. Obviously, the walls need to be kind of redone a little bit. This needs to still get out of here. But there's the road that you guys will see this the kind of frontage and stuff. So what do you think, Lori? It's a place. It is a place. But back to this place. All these walls here and all these rooms here. And guys, I realize it's a mess here. We're gonna, the first thing we have to do is clean this place up. But this whole side here, all of these walls, all these rooms, everything on this side of the building is just gonna get knocked down. All of it's gonna get knocked down. We'll leave a bathroom back here, which is actually right here. We just saw, uh, you know, gotta just, you know, get that all ready. But other than that, these walls all come down. This actually is kind of gonna stay here. Again, it's a wreck. But we're gonna expand this just a little bit. This and this is actually gonna be a birthday party room because right now at the Reptarium, basically we can only do birthday parties when we're closed. Now we'll be able to do birthday parties when we're open every day of the week, day and night, doesn't seem to matter. But we're gonna extend this room just a little bit so it's a little bit bigger party room. And then we're gonna actually take this room right here that is a complete disaster. And we're gonna make this a little bit bigger as well. And guess what's gonna be in this room here? Snake massage. That's right, we're gonna actually do a snake massage room. You can come and have a snake massage. Gonna have like a window so people can see and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna blow this room completely out and this is gonna be ending right about here. But let's just say that this room over here and guess what's gonna be on this wall right here? That's actually gonna be about six feet this way. Regardless, it's gonna actually be a fish spa. That's right, uh, where you can sit here, put your feet in the thing like we did out in Utah at Sequest and uh, get, you know, those fish will nibble on your feet. Uh, so there's gonna be a fish spa here. So that's gonna be amazing but the biggest thing is to join both buildings together again all these walls are going to be done and this wall right here is going to be the opening uh, let's go next door and show you what I mean by that and obviously it's important to expand the Reptarium size so that it becomes one building. We don't want people to have to go outside and go in another entrance, right? So in actuality, this is gonna be the entrance right over here and then the exit is gonna be on the other side. And the way to do this, we're gonna open this wall up. We're gonna probably make the opening right here, pull it all the way out, all the way here, all the way to about here or so. So there's gonna be an actual walkway. There'll be like a big piece of lumber that you have to walk through, kind of like a cave entrance. It'll be absolutely incredible. Then we're gonna actually have a pond that that starts right here and actually it's like a U goes right here, goes all the way over to the other side. And this is the other side of it. That pond is gonna swoop around kind of a horseshoe thing and there's gonna be a turtle pond in there for aquatic turtles. Uh, people will get a chance to feed the turtles and stuff like that. And it'll kind of tie the two buildings together. I know again, it's hard because all these walls will be out of here. So this isn't gonna be something that you're gonna see 
It's just, a, it's just a vision of what needs to happen. And then right along that wall where that pond ends, another row of cages will actually start. Some big python cages, monitor cages, stuff like that. All larger cages, much like the large cages over at the Reptarium. And again, this entire place, even the party room and the snake massage, is gonna look like the Reptarium. It's gonna be all rock and wood and all kinds of stuff. We'll have banyan trees, all that type of stuff. So we'll have a row of cages all the way there that goes from here all the way down to the bathroom. Then in the center, we're gonna have like a centerpiece somewhere around here. Not exactly sure where, but I want it to be, again, like Bowser has that amazing feature over there. We wanna have an amazing feature here. I'm kind of thinking like a big semi-aquatic anaconda cage, something really is a showpiece. That way, when you walk through that walkway and get over to here, you're gonna see this amazing, big, huge cage that's gonna be absolutely like a little jungle, right? And then behind it, down this center aisle, again, these walls will be gone. Down this center aisle is gonna be a whole bunch of other cages and stuff like that that uh, have all kinds of things in it that I'm super excited about. Not exactly sure what the design's gonna be yet, but we're working on that. Uh, again, it's just, uh, the vision in my head is gonna be amazing. We have to raise the ceiling up a little bit through the floors. We're gonna be staining the floors. Again, over here, again, this wall will be set back like six foot, but there'll be the fish spas right here. And then I'm gonna do a really cool corner cage with a huge glass front that you can enter in. I think I'm gonna do a boreal tree monitors in there. I think it's gonna be a really cool cage. Then finally, we'll have like a gift area over here where we'll have some more stuff. You guys know we have the Bella plushies, the salt plushies, all that type of stuff. We're just gonna have some more of that type of stuff over here, and then this will be the exit right here. So that's the flow. You know, you're gonna be able to walk through, walk around, get the fish spot, get snake massage, do birthday parties, see a bunch of new cool animals and exhibits, have this big tree monitor over here, gift shop. I mean, I'm excited, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited. Again, we're gonna start construction here, or I should say destruction here, probably next week. And this is how it starts, guys. You know, obviously things are gonna develop in a different way. Once you actually get into it, you might say, oh, let's move this around or change this around a little bit. But basically, this is the actual setup. Again, these are the cages where those rooms are gonna be. This is the party room, the snake massage room, the fish spa, that tree monitor. And then this will be the big exhibit and then one row of cages down the middle here, something like that, gift shop over here. So that's kind of how it starts, pen to paper, right? And then it starts, you know, the visions start going, the excitement starts going. But I'm gonna be teaming up again with Stuart at Universal Rocks be heading down there, building out the exhibits down there. And uh, of course, he's so creative. He's gonna come up with a lot of great ideas as well. So uh, so let me know, guys. I mean, that's a huge update on what's gonna happen. With any luck, if everything goes well, maybe March or April, we're gonna do our grand opening for this one. So I hope that you guys will come see it. People that have already been can come back and see the new place. You, If you haven't been, you can be here for the grand opening. And much like the last Reptarium, I'm gonna need some help, guys. So I'll announce whenever that is that we're getting the cage and need to load in. If you guys wanna make a trip up and hang out with me today, get these cages in, I'll let you guys know. Uh, again, that's a couple months away, so we won't get there, but we have a lot of building, we have a lot of construction, we have a lot of exciting things on the future, and I'm gonna take you guys along on it. So this winter is definitely not gonna be boring. So finally, it has happened, the last geckos of yes. the year. What and do we have? have one egg left, so. Oh, there's one egg left, okay. Yeah. It'll hatch, though, because it's sibling hatch. Exactly, it's, it's a little yeah. tremper uh, snow. Looks like a maxo tremper. Yeah, maxo tremper. And then we got a couple Murphy pattern less, and. Just a hypo bowl. Uh, maybe an eclipse. Maybe an eclipse. So, yeah. uh, so after an insane gecko year, I mean, definitely our biggest gecko year ever. Oh my God, I'm so crazy. happy you've done. <laughs> I know, it was absolutely <laughs> crazy. These are the last bunch of the year. Uh, and again, it's like I mentioned, we had moved out a lot of our adults, so we're never gonna have a production year like this again. Uh, it's the best thing, by far the yeah. best thing we could do It'll for sure. It'll be nice sure. to like refine our stuff a little bit more and uh, just focus on like the really bright stuff or the really cool stuff. Exactly, yeah, rather than just producing the numbers we do it's a little bit of a bummer because i like that type of stuff but at the same time you don't have to clean them <laughs> yeah i don't have to do all the work exactly yeah. so uh so definitely uh, a good transition into something different uh so that's it for leopard geckos for 2019. guys finally all of the baby mangrove snakes are hatched out Ooh, doggy i tell you what these things are rippers i love little boega and the mangroves are so pretty you know and this one right here has got a little bit of a light color to it as well you can see the kind of difference between this one and these guys but they're still well within the range of black i mean these guys are definitely black and it's interesting that some hatch out black and yellow whereas these guys have a little bit of that red hue to them which i find really interesting and these are pretty big babies here so that's pretty cool these are the last mangrove snakes of the year look at how crazy cool these things are oh my god and we've got it down pretty good at how to care for these guys it took us a year or two to really figure them out because babies can be a little bit tricky in the wild these guys will eat lizards and little frogs and and stuff like that 
that in captivity we want them to eat rodents just because that's what we have available. So it's really cool that we kind of figured out the best way to care for these animals now. And we've been doing really well this year. So we'll set these guys up, get them going. Hopefully with any luck that T-positive will shed in the next week or so. And we'll have a better idea what that animal is going to look like. But guess what guys? That is the last colubrid snake eggs of the year. It's on to 2020. Kind of a bummer, guys. I have a feeling that Lilith that's way up there in the corner, you can just barely see her right there. And of course, Nova over here, uh, Daddy over there, uh, I think that they're not gonna have another clutch. What a bummer, huh? What a bummer. We were lucky though, we did get lucky. We have what, 11, 11 strong babies. babies. Yep, so, babies. so, I mean, that was that. nice. Yeah, more would have been nice, but, yeah, more been you nice. know. But we really thought a couple weeks ago we took Lilith out, and you could kind of feel little marbles in her, but uh, it looks like she kind of reabsorbed right now, so it looks like only two clutches this year. Next year, we'll try to beef her up a little bit more, and hopefully my guy Nova here will be a daddy again. He's such a good animal, but in the meantime, we do have 11 cool babies, and uh, I know you're probably itching to take some of them home, right? Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't. I'm just trying to think what to, uh, I want to do a huge enclosure and just have like 12 of them in there, even though there's only 11. Yeah, it's, it's, but yeah maybe. So buy a few more. Yeah, yep, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, remember when I made the hand out of gelatin for Bowser? Well, we had leftover gelatin and Oh my gosh, Jay, what dude, the heck is this, man? Dude, I didn't know gelatin went bad. I came down here the other oh, day. Oh, it smells so bad. It's like feet oh, or something. Oh, it smells or like, like milk. No, get over here. My God, dude. Well, let's just take a whiff. Just bit. take a whiff. Hold on, hold on. I need to like get my stomach together because I might puke. Yeah, you're I can, puking, right? I, yeah, I can like feel it right here already. Maybe if I just close my eyes. Yeah, that's perfect. Close your eyes. You're fine. Get your nose closed. Get your nose closed. Come on, stop it shaking. It does not smell like pee. I'm agitating it. <laughs> so, so no. <laughs> I might throw up. I might throw Noah, up. Come no, here. no, I can't get closer. I'm gonna throw up. All right, come, come, get, no, get over here. Just come yeah, over come here on, for a second so I can film. So I can film. Come on. You can film right there. No. Why okay. are you making me get close? <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? You think that we should have Eric actually try to feel what it is? Yeah. Yeah. We could put a blindfold on him and then he has to put his hands in there. Dude, Dude it's gonna be bad. I mean, there's no better way to get rid of this Dude, than that. What That's the hell does that smell like? I've never smelled something like that before. It almost made me projectile. No, it's not good. <laughs> okay. It's definitely not okay. good. Okay, all right, let's go get Eric. Those are here. Eric! He's probably upstairs. Where are you at? Right here, what? Right here, what's up? Eric, Come here. We got a game for you. What is it? I love games. It's a blind and feel game. Yep, we're gonna blindfold you. And you have to tell us what you just have to feel something. And oh then you no! Can tell us what it is. I played this game with my uncle. It didn't end well. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, That's it. No, no, no. no. You cut that out. Cut that. Out. So, so I put the blindfold on and I feel it. What is it? An animal? Or we don't even know. It could be anything. It could, it could be, be anything. anything. It could be anything. It could be you just spaghetti. have to put it in there. It could be soap. And yeah. Just feel, feel what it is. What feel it what it is. What is it? Feel it. Exactly. Okay, let's do it. That's the question. Right here. What is it? Right here. Yeah. We're gonna bring in here? No, no, no. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Bring it over. Bring it over. All right. Is the glasses helping? A little bit, a little bit. I just don't want to lose them. You want to take a guess what you think it might be? No, what are you thinking right now? What do you think we would do there? Dude, I have no idea. You guys are so uh, just springy. I don't know what it can unpredictable. be. Uh, unpredictable. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm thinking like uh, <laughs> maybe it's like uh, Okay. I don't even know. Okay. I don't even know. All right, this is the deal. I'm putting it on a card right okay. in front of you. I'm going to take your hand. And okay. you can just feel the rim. That's what she said. There you go. Okay. Now you just gotta go inside Some, and just see what's in so, there. That's what she said. It kinda doesn't smell good, whatever it is, okay? <laughs> I'm getting a, uh, it's really, I'm really scared. It doesn't smell well. Okay. <laughs> just so, so like, oh God. <laughs> that's All right, just, 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 feel, just it. feel it? Yeah. <laughs> What is that? What is that? It does. It doesn't feel good. It's cold. It's a little cold. Oh! Oh! It's got like a hole in there. What is that? Dude, stick your fingers deep in that thing. Deep in Go there. for it. What man. is it? Oh no! Oh god! What? I don't know. It feels like this thing I've got under my bed here. What, what does that mean? It's got like a gooey inside. Oh, what is that? What oh, is I get that? it. I get it. What? What is? Oh no. Ugh! 
pick it up. You can... I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel good. I'm gonna. It's like spoiled milk or something. No, it's not. <laughs> not spoiled milk. Are we gonna what make him of... guess till he guesses? Yes. Oh, it smells really bad. I don't like it. I know it's on my hands. What is it, man? What is it? Okay, you take your. I can't even take it off. <laughs> What, what is that? What is? Uh, we found it in I the toilet. Talk. We found it in the toilet next. In, in uh, T's toilet. Uh, oh, I was in T's. Oh my toilet. God! He's gonna throw up. Oh no! I just need to talk about one. <laughs> I gotta swallow it back down. It's just jello. Oh my it's God! It's gelatin. Look at that. It's congealed gelatin that, that I There's like. mole and poop in there! What are you talking about congealed gelatin? <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. I don't even know what it is. I feel itchy. It's really, it's, so it's really smelly. Okay, get it out of here. So there's a lowdown on the update with the Reptile 2. It's gonna be an amazing several months coming up here. We'll take you on the build, the install, all that type of stuff. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions, what animals I should get in there. Whatever you think about this, I am beyond excited. If you enjoyed this video, here's actually the video where we actually were building the Reptarium. Here's an entire playlist of the Reptarium. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on if you don't mind. Remember to have an absolutely wonderful day and you better be kind to somebody. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.